Hello everyone, here's your weather hazard briefing for Thursday, June 23rd. We have a couple of storm systems moving through and that's bringing a few showers and thunderstorms back to our area today and tomorrow. With these storms, it's getting into the summertime and we're expecting these dry storms, which basically produce only a few hundreds of rain or even just a few sprinkles and gusty winds. Now, outside of thunderstorms today and tomorrow, there will be some pockets of gusty winds in the general sense and that'll be mainly today and tomorrow like we said. Uh, Friday and Saturday it cools down just a tad, but then we're back into the 90s with high pressure building returning as we head into next week if you're going to be into the lower elevations. You can see storm number one circulating over California. That's headed up into our area in the next 12 to 24 hours, and you can see some clouds developing on the south end of a low over British Columbia and Alberta. That storm system swings through later tomorrow. That helps kick off another round of showers and thunderstorms. Not much in the way of impact at this time it will be breezy we don't have any wind headlines nothing that will be meeting criteria for lake wind or wind advisory we don't have to worry about any red flag warnings right now at this point but you do see some breezy conditions over portions of the central mountains the snake plain the magic valley also on up into portions of the central mountains in limhi county we might see a few of those storms today and tonight even tomorrow clipping portions of the magic valley and snake plain as they as they come out of the uh, south hills and the southeast eastern highlands otherwise not much going on saturday looks decent we might see a few storms uh, sunday across the southeast highlands and then up across portions of limhi county into monday but overall the conditions are going to be drier and definitely returning to warm by the time we get to that time next week. Looking at what's going on with the weather in terms of where we're going to see those storms over the next 24 to 36 hours, you'll notice we go into today a few thunderstorms over the central islands. These models, some of the higher resolution models, they're fairly close. You just kind of look for the general trend of where these storms are going to be. We can't necessarily say pinpoint a storm is going to be exactly over your location, but the general trend to where these storms are going to be forming and where they headed is what we're trying to show you. Going into this afternoon, a few storms over the Central Mountains and then also up along the Montana border, also a few developing across the South Hills, down towards Jackpot, also to the south and east in Pocatello, especially over the bench areas. You'll notice that we see an increase over the South Hills and then into the Southeastern Highlands. And like we said, a few of these storms may push up across the benches into the southern end of the Snake Plain in the Magic Valley. What likely will happen is these storms, as they do that with the really dry air and the lower elevations, they'll really start to dissipate, and that's when we'll see some of the uh, downburst winds with that. We're not expecting any severe storms at this time. Just some uh, increase in some of those gusts this afternoon with some of these storms that do form. Going into tonight, we see some activity up continuing along the Montana border, the eastern highlands. Even a few uh, storms might push back out into towards the INL, but again, most of this activity is going to remain over the higher elevations. Going into the overnight hours, we see a bit of an uptick in the southeast highlands as we go towards sunrise. And then as the next low approaches, the one coming out of British Columbia and Alberta, we see another round developing up around the Montana border. And we should see that band of storms shifting south and eastward slowly during the afternoon hours. And just like today, not a lot of precipitation is expected. So back to the actual forecast for highs today, mid-80s, some upper 80s creeping in. If you're headed into the mountains, plenties of, plenty of 60s and 70s to be had, almost hitting 80 in Stanley this afternoon. There are those wind gusts, some gusts 25 to 30 over the Snake Plains, some higher elevation gusts above 30 miles per hour over the Central Mountains. And like we said, we could see some uh, stronger gusts with some uh, any thunderstorms that develop this afternoon and this evening. Those winds do die down once we get past sunset. Looking at relative humidity, now that we're starting to get into the uh, into the drier part of our year, humidity is uh, generally in the 15 to 20 percent range over the lower elevations. The higher elevations, 20 to 30 percent. Out across the INL, nothing uh, nothing surprising there with humidities around 10 to 15 percent. There's the precipitation, and like we said, not a lot there. Maybe a couple of hundreds out of some of these storms. Otherwise, it may be nothing more more than a spit and a gust of wind. So going into tomorrow, like we said, we back off those temperatures a few degrees. Not reaching 80 for Salmon Chalice and Stanley for sure. 70s, lower 80s, maybe a peaking into the, the mid-80s for a couple of spots for afternoon highs tomorrow. 
Humidity values it do drop off a little bit with that next storm system moving in, but you see where we have the better chance and of storms tomorrow and the cloud cover. That doesn't allow the humidity drop to below 30% in a few spots and also again up around to Island Park. And for tomorrow, not much in the way of precipitation, like we said again. Going into a Saturday, we are trying to warm up a bit. We cool off a bit. It's within, I'd say, 2 to 3 degrees overall, maybe a little more, a little less in a couple of spots. But going into Saturday, humidity continues to drop, and that's what happens when we see high pressure building in in the summertime. We're going to see some 80 temperatures pro approaching 90 degrees down across the Magic Valley into the Treasure Valley. Stanley will be at 81. Is plenty of 70s up in the high country, and the humidities can you continue to hold steady or drop just a bit, depending on location going into Sunday and Monday. A few more 90s pushing in, especially once you get across the Arco Desert, the INL from Pocatello westward, even some mid to upper 90s by then, and it looks like maybe early next week you're heading to Boise. We might be seeing triple-digit temperatures over there for the early part of next week. So once again, a couple of storms today and tomorrow. Storm systems moving through. We might see a little bit of shower and thunderstorm activity. Don't expect a lot of rain and some gusty winds with those storms. Not looking at severe weather at this point. Otherwise, those storms will bring a brief cool down Friday into Saturday. Then the temperatures warm up and we start to see the dry air returning going into next week. Have a great day and do stay safe out there, everyone.